everyone today i'm going to do a video on why you should choose private label and the benefits it has over say wholesale or retail arbitrage or kdp or some similar amazon model to this so first of all amazon private label is centered around your brand uh, being put onto private label products um, that can be sold on amazon so over here first of all we have amazon now amazon is the starting platform to get your products out there now once you have amazon uh, begun you can start with ebay 2 it's another uh, e-commerce platform it's pretty good it's not as popular as amazon but it is another um, net to have in the water so to speak so from that brand now you can branch out into other uh, different avenues a uh, retail store this could be a, a retail store that is owned by you uh, that is kept your products on there but I'll, I'll explain why it shouldn't be uh, named after the brand in a moment so the retail store should have your products on there and they should be sold to end users uh, that will buy them now down here we've got dropship slash direct delivery what this means is you can offer a drop shipping service on your brand that other stores can sell so for example the retail store that is yours you can have other people who own other retail stores and they can stock your products and you can offer a direct delivery uh, for your um, supplier so, sorry you're a supplier and they are your buyer so that is the dropship and direct delivery model <clears throat> contracts you can sell your products as uh, contracts so for example if there's a um, an office supply store let's say if they supply x amount of um, say cardboard boxes or staples or something like that if you have the contract to supply them uh, that'll be another avenue which your brand can take Local stores would say be High Street. Uh, they may be able to stock your products on the shelves. Uh, you can negotiate a deal with them and they can buy just in a wholesale level. Now up here we have wholesale. What wholesale is, is basically you're selling at a wholesale level for others to sell on themselves. So for example, if we've got like a, a normal store or an online store that buys in um, X amount of products per month, you can negotiate that deal um and keep your brand wholesale so for wholesale model the website will be the name of the brand so therefore if it's amahube for example that will be the name of the website if it's a retail store it'll be its own independent name uh that's not related to the brand because it's just the retail store is just a brand uh sorry it's just a store with your brand on it uh, in it sorry so wholesale is your brand as the website and you're selling at a wholesale level. You don't sell individual products because when you come to wholesale, they'll ask you, if you are, why would you sell at a retail level? You're trying to have your cake and eat it is what they'll say. So therefore you stay in the wholesale level. Uh, to end users, some end users are just going to use your products. You know, I mean, there's no need for eBay, Amazon or any of these levels of um, platforms. It can just be a case of ring up the phone. Okay, we need your products. Now, can you send it out to us? So this is the big difference between a brand and just say selling somebody else's, which is say wholesale. Because when you do wholesale, you only have this and this. And when you have this, you'll have to compete for the buy box. For eBay, you're going to have to compete with every other seller that has your same product. So it's extremely likely that the wholesale products you're buying are going to be sold on eBay already anyway. And if they're not, it's a red flag. Um, retail stores, they'll go straight to the uh, supplier. They won't even bother with you direct delivery drop shipping you could offer that but i don't think the profit margin will be there for you to cover because nine times out of ten when you're a wholesaler the um the retail seller at the very end or sorry just at the, at the end from the end user um they usually offer about 50 percent margin which really isn't very good when it comes to um, private label your margin is at least three to five times the unit cost when wholesale is probably 50 percent ish so this is the reason we advocate for private label it means you don't need to compete for the buy box because you own the brand and you dictate who sells the products where and of course every other thing that i've mentioned the the product is sold as under your brand therefore nobody can nobody can copy you and if your marketing's uh, very unique and your product is perceived to be unique then you will own um your market share because of that so any questions just shoot me a message inside hu